Hey folks, I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And we're TNT RVing. We're here in Millersburg, Indiana at the Forest River Rockwood Flake Staff Division. Like seven or eight years is our average tenure for our production employees, which is kind of crazy That's in this great. industry. 65% Amish out in our, our plants, um, which, I mean, anything they touch is usually built pretty well, right? Mm -hmm. and, I mean, we'll talk to them today. A lot of the guys ask them how long they've been here. It's six years, five years, 10 years. Um, all of our plant managers started on the line somewhere too. So it's, it's pretty cool. And Carl, who was talking to everybody yesterday, he started online in Plant C. And now he runs our whole division for operations in Columbus uh, and River Ranch. So it's, we didn't go outsource, you know, a guy with a managerial experience, didn't know anything about RVs. He right. worked on the bottom line. So it's pretty cool. And he, when he talks, we listen because he knows what the heck's going on, right? So yeah, this is kind of where everything's starting. In this bay door, we'll stack a few chassis up. Um, they're coming from Lippert Components. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Lippert, just being one of the biggest suppliers around. But what's nice, these chassis are coming from 12 minutes down the road, right? They're not coming from the East Coast or the West Coast to get here with defects from transport. Um, it's a nice, easy drive. If we have issues with anything with our suppliers, they're pretty much all local. So we're in there face to face. We don't, we don't need to catch anybody on the phone. Um, kind of allows us to run how we want to run. And it's the reason this is kind of like RV capital of the world, right? All of our suppliers are, are pretty local too, um, as well as the manufacturing plants. But you see they come with your rack and pinion through frame slide from Lipper. So those are already installed. That's a Lipper product. You'll see your motor on the inside, which is going to be encapsulated between your floor and your underbelly there. And then you see our, our outriggers. We'll have we'll have them, you know, weld tank supports, um, route supports for LP lines and wiring. That's all done kind of with Lipper. We'll send our blueprints over there, and they'll uh, see and see it for us. But yeah, this is cool. First thing we're doing, we have to put your axles and tires on, right, so we can get this thing moving right. down the road or down the assembly line. But what what makes this difference is the Dexter torsion axles, right? You don't see any leaf spring suspension systems with anything that we're doing. Um, you look at any horse trailer or cargo trailer, you usually find independent suspension, right? UPS FedEx, just proven to be a smoother ride over time. Um, and then with those, we're giving you the Goodyear and Ernst tire, so American made, with the wheel banded TPMS system. So we like to refer to it as a triple crown or running gear. No one, no one else other than Airstream's doing the Dexter Torsion axles with the Goodyear Endurance tire and a wheel band and TPMS. So invested a decent amount of money in that running gear because our thought is everything above is going to take less abuse, right? Smoother ride, less blowouts with better tires. You know, hopefully it's a, a happy customer in the end run. Yep. Then we'll start to wires and tanks and everything, which is kind of happening right next to us. You guys want to take a look at that. start to drop some tanks and you see the fresh tanks hanging out behind you too so 54 gallon fresh tanks which is what we're using and that's your 12 volt heat pad on there um, so your thermostat with controlled heat pad on all your tanks so fresh grays and black um, but we're also wrapping like a smaller pad around your plumbing which you'll see too so by your gate valves usually that whole plumbing area is going to be heated um, just in case any water or waste sits in there so for about five and seven years, these guys have been work doing the same floors out here. So, I mean, that's, you really don't find that in this industry. It's pretty, pretty unique. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably start building another one here soon. But bottom layers are dark oak moisture barrier. It's gonna just keep water moisture out of your batten insulation. And then we'll roll some batten insulation down and then throw your, your floor framing, which is hanging up right here, about three inch tubular aluminum frame, double welded. On top of that, and then we're going to glue and screw your plywood uh, decking out, so your 5-8 inch uh, tongue and groove plywood decking. And that's your floor structure. We used to laminate floors, and a lot of manufacturers still, still have a laminated floor. But over time in those high traffic areas, you, you got those soft spots, right? Um, and it was always out of warranty. We were doing good wills, replacing floors. Uh, so we figured, hey, there's got to be a better way to build a floor. So this is more like a residential influence floor. We really haven't had any issues with it recently. I mean, it's, it's a really well-built floor, yep. Don't want to get in your way here. Aluminum chassis going down. Throw that down here. Oh. And you can see, we're stuffed with wood. Right. So anywhere we're going to be throwing bolts or screws into that aluminum, we're going to have a wood insert. Just something to grab onto so we're not just going through hollow aluminum there. And then here, we'll glue it. That's what you get for doing this for a few years, right? Woo! 
Look at this. This is the best part. Yeah, and they're good bakers, so I bet that chick makes good hamburgers. Uh, no, so, so we have, uh, like I said, a house that we use today. And so it's three to five, and whenever we get 25, 30, whatever that is, we go for the day, then we clean and prep and then we get into all. So it's not a look for eight hours a day. underbelly and then we have a laminated radiant foil right to keep that insulated down there but it's I mean it's pretty puncture resistant stuff I mean you can try to rip oh. it and tear it so that's your defense against anything that's coming up down the road there. that's now the new standard because uh, ours has actual the foil is separate um, from the underbelly yeah, the, so the mini light yeah. the mini light has um, yeah kind of a different plastic piece with a separate piece yep okay Pretty much just in this plant and then fituals we have it laminated because right. I think it's so long. Some of our smaller stuff you have a separate piece. Okay. Yeah. But you're still gonna have your radiant foil kind sure. of insulating and everything it's down thick there. As well. Yeah, we're yeah, using it on our front caps. You you can feel it down here yeah. in a second. Yeah. And a lot of these pieces are, are sub-assembled kind of down below and up top. Mainly your water lines and plumbing up top. Uh, but we're a few days ahead back there, so if someone can't make it, we're gonna have parts and pieces for about two days of running. Um, but building it back there at a slower pace is going to definitely eliminate a lot of human error rather than trying to build this all as it's going down the line. So kind of plug and play. We grab the pieces we need, come here and screw it down, and we're on to the next section. There's your black tank vent. So that's going all the way up into your, into your roof there. So here's our side. Yep. Yep, so this is your side wall. Might bring this one over too, so watch that way to get run over. Mm -hmm. Like that, right? But yeah, you can see we're full composite construction now, right? This Asdell here was Luon in previous years, right? Which we built trails with Luon for 40 years. Very strong. But what this new material offers us is pretty much a hard water barrier, right? If water happens to get into that sidewall, there's nothing that's going to rot. We're framing with aluminum. We're using composite substrates. There's no wood in our, our construction anymore with those side, side walls, um, front wall and back wall. So a little stronger. Um, better insulation factor than Luon 
But the big thing is, if water would ever happen to get in, there's, there's going to be no rot potential, which is awesome. So, all these are laminated in our lamination building, kind of right beside us. There's a roof that's ready to go. Awesome. I know, right? Wait. I can get the rain coming here anytime. I think it's 11. Good morning. Good morning. Come on, that's the double insulation. Yeah, here's your roof going on. One piece laminated roof, fully framed with aluminum. About five inches of high density block foam in the center there. Um, you can see where your ACs are going because your your AC uh, or you're going to be aluminum braced right there. Everything else, your skylight or your max air fan. But what's cool? I mean, we think we build one of the best roofs in the industry too. A lot of players in the the fiberglass sidewall market have a wood built roof. But a lot of these manufacturers, they give you you know a cheaper suspension system with the leaf spring. And then they build a wood roof with wood trusses and screws up there. All that shaking and vibration could cause some leak points where those screws start to pop. With our laminated roof, the only place water's ever getting in is around your seals up there, right? Um, so we give you a ladder, fully walkable roof. We want you up there checking your seals, you know, every six months at least, just to make sure um, no bubbles have popped or, you know, what, 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 may, what may have it. But, and then on top of that, we'll lay, we'll lay some glue down and then we're gonna put your alpha fly up there, which is your TPO roof membrane. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lifetime warranty now on that roof, uh, so they really don't plan on ever having to do anything with it. Uh, they, they don't recommend you have to UV treat it. They just soap and water to clean it off, and that's about all the maintenance you need up there. Take your piece that we can use it for everything. Kind of just fits together a nice, nice little box there, and then we'll screw it all down. They got the coffee in this morning. <laughs> I haven't seen the ringleader yet. There's one that gets everything going. He's right. There he is. Yep. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's awesome. Yep. So yeah, put your roof membrane on here. Um, you see it kind of hanging out, we're going to run some trim. Oh. Working away while we're pushing it down the line. Right. Morning. Good morning. morning. And we do clean everything up, you know, every night. So it's, we usually sweep it up and clean and prep for the next day. Front cap, right? Your automotive windshield, we install that ourselves, so we'll get the painted front cap from our supplier. But we have a different building where we'll set that front cap in and let it cure for 24 hours before we touch it. Um, we're not installing it while it's in the plant, just the front cap with, you know, people always are hesitant about it, so we want to make sure it's actually sealed up and we really don't have any issues with leaks or anything with it. Especially how we're mounting, it's flush mounted, right? Some of the manufacturers have kind of copied us. Theirs is kind of raised mounted, so that seal's kind of exposed, and yeah, probably uh, having a little more warranty claims than we are with that. So. For sure. Anything on the interior that's going to be weight bearing, um, we'll frame it with aluminum. So this is actually going to be a bed base. You're going to see some more dinette kind of by our by our flight on. Any other manufacturer, you lift up that mattress or that couch cushion, and it's usually a few pieces of kind of OSB and some plywood down there. Right. So, um, we hang our hat on using a lot of aluminum. Yeah, we got all the lights and the heat lamps for graphics too. Right. Wow. Yeah, if we want to look at our slide out. Okay. So this is your Superflex. So we're still using your Superflex on the slide out. We're not cutting any corners. A lot of manufacturers, you gotta press on the side and it has that give to it. It's because it's framed with wood and then it's just hung fiberglass. 
you see we're still Asdell, we're block foam, we're aluminum, we're still a laminated box, right? Um, we're building it the same way as we're building your bigger box, which is awesome. We're using your kind of hybrid um, flooring now. So seen it a lot of like pontoon and marine grade stuff, really water resistant, you still water on it, you should be able to just wipe it up there. Uh, but kind of fully got rid of that carpet in your slides, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, even on your roof, laminated roof, um, should be able to hold a lot of weight up there as well. Yeah, if you need to get up there. I know we're doing a lot of slide toppers nowadays, so that's been a very popular option mm -hmm. um, that we've seen with the customers. So. And yeah, these are all 2024 products. So you'll see our new wood on the inside, new Sedona wood, which took place in the Newport Ash. We lightened up our wall boards, bigger 1800 watt inverters, dual AC standard over 32 foot. Um, AC is our 15K standard, which was a 23 change. Um, and then just some little like hardware stuff here and there. But I think it's, our stuff's looking really nice. No. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Backwards and hard. Yep. every time I know yeah. usually I mean are there a lot of reference points or you usually have to measure it out when you're putting it on it just how long you guys been doing it uh, two and a half years two and a half yeah. what about you <laughs> <laughs> well, on that yeah uh, three and a half four years about three and a half four yeah yeah, each floor plan has like, okay, this one's kind of go by this window and different uh, like reference points, but, you know, it's pretty cool to see how, uh, how easy it is to put them on. And in the winter, right, we have these heat plans, right, to kind of beat it up. It kind of takes a lot better uh, when it's not fiberglass and cold. Wow, they're really coming together here. So, so yeah, if you want to peek in, peek inside and probably still do some trim and caulking and wow. stuff on the interior at this point. So here's a bed frame, inverter, look at all that. So I think this is just some messy caulking up here. It's like mm -hmm. even just messy caulk. Um, looks like we're missing some kind of caulk in general on this one. Um, so all that will be taken. So each has a code, purple, yellow, orange. Well, so the, the, the color represents the inspector. Oh. So when they're trying to fix something down here, they're not like, okay, who put this on? They know what inspector has what color, so that's who they'll go back to. Okay. And say, hey, I don't see what's going on here, what's going on, and they'll tell them why they okay. marked it. So, so you know, easier way for us to track who put what where, and, so we can address any issues. Okay. But they're pretty picky, so we'll take three units from each each run from each plant that goes through our CAI building, Customer Assurance Institution, where we have a team of about eight inspectors, and they'll like pretty much take these apart, do like our 300 point PDI inspection just to make sure um, everything is top notch. And if they catch something that we missed on the line, right, they're coming back to the ladies on the line, you know, what the heck's going on? So it's we have to be picky at this station and then we're picky over there and then that's not even corporate we send stuff to corporate too so a lot of these are getting um a few few uh kind of inspection rows. yeah this is kind of final finish row the last three line stations on the line here and hopefully we're doing the seal here soon i'll show you that mm -hmm. 
morning. It's all your 30 pound propane bottles. Yep. Run the tanks on. Morning. And so, yeah, I don't know if we've done this one yet. It doesn't look wet. So, this is your door. Put that oh, okay. on and have your hook your blower up. And then it'll spray soap and water around all your seals, uh, your windows, your baggage doors, all your components there. Uh, and that's how we pressure test it and make sure we didn't miss any caulking. You'll even see within this trim, if, if there's a screw that's kind of put in sideways, it'll start to bubble up um, that, that soapy water wheel. We'll know to take that trim off and get in and re put that screw in, right? There it okay. is now. So, kind of a cool thing we do, and we do it on every single trailer that comes, comes through here and comes offline. Um, I know some manufacturers do it every third or maybe once a run or like how we take it to our PDI and do it over there, but no, we do it on every single trailer. So. Yeah, this is your pressure test. We're testing all your skills. 